Former Kansas City Fed President Tom Honig joins us now with his take. And Tom, I, I guess the debate has moved on to from seven cuts or six cuts, which was what the market initially expected, to three where the Fed is, to maybe even fewer than that, given some of the data. What's your outlook? Well, I think um, it's yet to be determined, obviously, but I think fewer rates are highly uh, more likely outcome. Number one, the economy has been uh, surprisingly stronger than most people thought it would be. I think that's important. Um, now, some of the some of the numbers coming out today on manufacturing have been weaker, but that's been the case all along. The consumer has been driving this economy, continues to drive it, I think, to some extent. So unemployment's still low, wages are still rising. So I think that's a big factor. And and the other thing I think for the Fed is with that environment, inflation, um, which has come down and everyone talks about it, but has been stubbornly um, in the CPI at least 3%. Uh, in that range for over six months. Uh, and that's what most people watch. And so inflation is still a, a, a problem for them, I think, uh, if their target is 2%. Uh, and I think that's a big issue going forward. And finally, I would point out that the their balance sheet, you were talking earlier about liquidity, their balance sheet still provides a fair amount of liquidity into the market. Uh, and that factor, uh, I think, shouldn't be forgotten as we go forward from here. So I think it's a, I think three cuts would be a surprise now, um, probably one or two uh, as the economy continues to slow, as they expect at least, uh, and we'll see how that plays out. What about this idea of a preemptive cut to protect the economy from going into recession with the Fed being more confident that inflation is coming down? Is that, are, are you for preemptive cuts or against? Well, <laughs> like most things in life, it depends. I would say, um, I understand their desire for a preemptive cut because they don't want to get behind the curve and cause a recession. And remember, the banking industry, I think, is still vulnerable. There's a lot of repricing going on. They have a lot of unrealized losses on their balance sheet. So that's in play here. But one other thing I would point out to you, that if you look at the, the real interest rates, if inflation uh, is a stubbornly 3 percent uh, and the rate is 5.5 percent, that means real rates are 2.5 percent. And the other part of this is most people, given the amount of government borrowing uh, and, the, and the strength of the economy, think that the longer run equilibrium rate for, for interest rates is probably closer to two. That means you've got a, 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 only a modestly restrictive policy right now. So that should discourage them from cutting rates too quickly, uh, given, given how strong the economy has shown itself to be. So I don't think uh, this preemptive necessarily has a role to play yet. It all comes back to the U.S. consumer, always does. It's why we're reading the tea leaves from the consumer earnings. We look at delinquency rates. We look at the jobs report. I mean, it's it's all stronger than expected, Tom, than certainly where we expected it to be this year and last year. Yes. It, it, do you have confidence that it can continue, though, given some of the, the headwinds that we do talk about and the impact of a of a tightening, tightening rate environment? Well, I think the, the economy is is slowing now much more modestly than people had thought but it is slowing so there will be a time when they can do that but it's the consumer i think is still going to be a pretty strong uh booster of the economy over the next six months at least uh now there can always be surprises if the banking industry the vulnerabilities in the banking industry become more real and start to cause problems then that may cause the fed to change its mind and if there is a shock to the economy coming from wherever, uh, that could change his mind. But as it stands right now, given the modest slowing of the economy, which in some ways is very beneficial, then they can be, I think, cautious. And they want to see that inflation number get closer to 2%. And I personally want to see the CPI part of that, the, the measure of inflation coming closer Why? to 2%.